let's go ahead and learn about the where clause. So the where clause, if I close that, so where clause allows us to filter the data based on conditions. So the very basic condition that we can actually do with our table is we can go ahead and say select and then start from person and then we can use where so where a column or columns meet certain criteria. So we can go ahead and simply say where and then gender equals to and then female. If I end up with semicolon and then press enter, there we go. And now you can see that the results that we go back contains only female. So if I keep on going, you will see that we only have female. So I can go ahead and also say, let's go ahead and pick the actual male. So where the gender is just male. Enter. And you can see that now we only have male. So we can use the where clause to filter based on column or column. So we can actually have multiple conditions. So if I go back, so if I press Q and then now to actually use another condition, I can go ahead and say and so we can use the and keyword and we can pretty much just filter, for example, uh, where the country and then of and then birth equals and then let's say Poland. If I press semicolon, enter, and you can see that now we have every single guy that was born in Poland. So we can also say, uh, so we can actually combine these. So I can say country of birth equals to Poland, or so I can say or, so in caps, or country of and then birth equals to and then let's say China and then end that with parentheses enter and I've misspelled birth wrong so just let me go back so this should be T and then H and then enter and you can see that now we have every single guy that was born either in China or Poland there we go so we can also filter a bit more. So let's see if we have anyone with the same last name. So I'm going to grab that last name. So Pietersma, I don't know if I spelled that correctly or not, but I'm going to press Q and then I'm going to add another and. So let's just, let me just press enter and, and then a last name equals to Pietersma. Sorry, it's a funny surname. So uh, if I press semicolon and then enter, and you can see that we only have one person with that surname. So let's actually see if we have any um, female. Change that to female. Enter. And no females with that surname. If you have any questions of what we did here, Drop me a message, otherwise join me in the next video. See ya.